almost for I'm going to the chippy after. Mm-hmm. The chippy up there, isn't oh, it? Yes. Oh, to the right. Oh, to the right. Yes. Yes. Yeah, fish and chips. Yeah, it's yeah. very good. What do you want, way. Kim? <laughs> very busy people. <laughs> Don't scare me. <laughs> I'm sorry, was that scary? <laughs> it wasn't, was it? That was a bit, yeah. Oh, wait till you see that show, I'll scare you. Will you? Yeah. Oh, we're here at the Palace Theatre. <laughs> did <laughs> you get that on with, camera? We did. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, so, <laughs> with, with um, obviously, with Matthew Kelly and David Yelland, who are starring... You are the stars, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. Especially ha- me. Oh, <laughs> well, I, is I'm that right? right? Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> David's going to accept that, actually. Actually, we both have the same agent, and yeah. strangely, we are both his number one client. Ah, uh, that's what he tells you. <laughs> yeah, it's when kind of awkward yeah, when he yeah. comes to see us. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, when he comes into my dressing room, he goes, I'll have to go in and see. David, who's my number two client. <laughs> and then when he's in with David, he goes, I've got to go see Matthew, who's my number two client. <laughs> he loves to tell stories, Matthew. I can see Yeah, that. it was a complete yeah. lie, that. Was it? Totally yeah. lie, from start to finish. It was. I was Actually, that. we're sharing the dressing room here. Oh, yeah. I like yeah. sharing, yeah. It gets a bit lonely sometimes. You're on the mm. road, you know, you want to have a chat. Yeah, yeah, I like to have a chat, unless it's somebody that doesn't stop talking. Well, actually, <laughs> since you mentioned it. <laughs> Don't tell! Oops. Oops. <laughs> okay. It's not true, no, no. You, you I like to sleep as well. You, I do like when to sleep. When you're awake, you talk. When you're awake, you talk. Yeah. When you're awake, you talk. <laughs> it's not very often. He's like a toddler, it sounds like. <laughs> oh, no, no. no. So you're on your. This is the kind of penultimate venue for you. For yes. This, for this show. And a lot of people might look at the. Um, the subject matter of the play and think, oh, perhaps this is a little bit too highbrow for no, me. No, no. What would you say to that? I'd say not at all. I mean, one of the great things about Alan Bennett's stuff is that, uh, although it's interesting, you know, to think about, and, and, and he's talking about all kinds of different things, he never ever makes it seem as though he's talking down to you from a great intellectual height. Mm. That's the secret of his success. I mean, it's very accessible stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You agree? Oh yes. If people think it's too highbrow, just say Alan Bennett. Yeah. yeah. We all know Alan Bennett, and we love Alan Bennett. And um, he's—I have this phrase for him—it's intellectually hospitable. So you're never sitting next to somebody in the audience who's laughing smugly at something yes. you don't understand. You, don't understand. you yeah. know those people who I want to go old punch. Yeah. 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 Because he kind of like what I like about Alan Bennett as well. He's kind of he channels into real people and real personality mm. personalities but with this one it's got W. H. Jordan and yeah but it's it's got W. H. Jordan and Benjamin Britten a meeting between the two of them but yeah. it's it's a play within a play yeah. it's a bunch of actors rehearsing a play about the meeting of these mm. two so you get both the the actual play there rehearsing and you also get a bit of fun to do with actors rehearsing. You know. Which is always fun anyway. Which is quite often fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll recognise a fair bit in oh, there really? about oh. actors, yes. But it also allows him to comment on the, the play within the play, yeah. which is about, ben, uh, about Britain and Orton. And it also allows him to divulge information that would take a narrator forever mm. to yeah. tell you, mm. or, you know, screeds of notes in the programme. Yeah. So it's a, it's a very fast moving thing and funny too. Very funny, and it's one of the ways he gets around the business of having to explain you know who these people are and everything is he gets the actors who are playing the parts mm. to ask the author, who is also in the play. Right. Okay. Um, well, what do you mean by this? You know, so yeah. it's yeah, always on. available to the mm. audience as well as to, as to us. Mm. So what was the appeal of um, taking on the, these roles that you've got? Well, it's a job, isn't it? <laughs> you know, uh, money, money that, was surely. the biggest appeal to me. <laughs> I love it. No, I mean, there, there are some things that are a joy and a pleasure to do, and there are other things that I cannot do. And you read this play and you think, that's what I can put my heart into. Yeah. Uh, it is a challenging play, though, because we both have a lot to say. Mm. Well, so particularly Matthew, who it, has a, it's an it, enormous role. It's quite, quite a long one which took me quite a long time to learn. Does it? How do you learn your lines? 
How do I learn all yeah, them lines? I know it's a bit of a tricky well, question. Well, the standard, the standard but, answer to that is with difficulty. <laughs> 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 it was with difficulty because we only had four weeks rehearsal. Did you? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, with a great deal of help from the others, to be honest with you. Mm. Although there are scripted prompts in it. Mm. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Of course, because they, they're, it's not a performance, it's a rehearsal. Of course. Yeah. It's, it's a performance of a rehearsal, yes, you see what yes. I mean? But, uh, so you're allowed, as you know. Uh, well, that's handy then. So can you have an unscripted kind of is, we, you, you can. Well, you can, sure. and very occasionally uh, we have called on it. Yeah, we can. But not very often. Not very often. And the, and the two girls who are playing the stage management parts are on the script all the time. Mm. They're fantastic, you mm. know, really. In fact, it quite surprised me. <laughs> I asked for a prompt. David actually tries to pull the lines out of the top of his head. <laughs> ah, he, do, he do gets so frustrated. Oh. Yeah, it does happen. But David saved me before now. Really? Well, and yeah, vice versa. He, he's re really strong and solid on stage. It's, it's a great comfort to know oh. that somebody you're with is... Um, is ready and willing and able to pull you out of it. Definitely. Well, a, a lot of it does depend upon the two of us sparking yes. off each other, you know. Yeah. And, uh, had you worked together before? Never. No. We had not, no. no. And I hope to goodness it doesn't happen again. <laughs> 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 no, I mean, we've already thought that one or two plays we could do. Have yeah, you? Yeah, Such not, as? No, no, not going to mention oh. No, no, we can't, no. Oh, not even a little... Tiny clue. No. I think the next one is Whoops, There Go My Bloomers. <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> yeah, that's the one, yes. Oh, we do like a good farce in there, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alan Bennett, had you met him before? Have you met I him have before? met him. This is the fourth time I've done a Bennett play. And I met him some years ago in Leeds Bradford Airport. Okay. And um, I, I saw him, and I'm, I'm terribly starstruck. Mm. So when I saw it, it was about 10 years ago. And um, when I meet somebody who I'm completely in awe of, all the bones fall out of my arms, and I go, oh, hi. <laughs> I can't think of anything sensible to say. And he was really sweet, and he, and he mentioned the, the plays bits that I'd already done. And he was very lovely. And on this play, he sent not only uh, a big bottle of champagne for everybody to share and a card on the press night, which he does for every opening night, wherever they are, mm -hmm. But uh, the following day, he sent us all individually handwritten cards, Both thanking cards. us yeah. oh, and giving nice. us notes about our characters. Oh, he gave you notes. Oh no, just little suggestions. He yeah. hasn't uh, seen it. He hasn't no, seen I was going to say he hasn't seen it. And no, no. Is that a? Why well, one of the things he said on my card was, "Don't worry about learning all the lines. You can always take a prompt, and everybody will think it's great acting." Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, uh, yes, and, and he took it, that quite literally. Yeah, and it also <laughs> had a, a a little pen and ink cartoon of himself. So really? Yeah, so that's very sweet. I mean, I I was absolutely thrilled to get mine. Yeah, mm. yeah. So it was tremendous. Um, it's a lovely thing to do. So it's eighty four right, now. Wonderful. Is it? It's, it's not yeah. but you know, just terribly, terribly good. I've done History Boys. Mm. I've also done Kafka's Dick twice. Yeah. 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 Not many people can say no. that. <laughs> <laughs> Not many people have said it's on camera, I can tell. I love the history, boys. And Richard Griffith was in that, wasn't he? Griffith? He was in that, and in fact, I'm playing his part again. Yes, in this. That's what in I this. But yeah. Richard and I were at college together, you know. Yes. We were, and he was the he was a dear man. And I sent a message to, uh, and he had the same uh, agent as both of us. Oh, did he? he was also the, the, the number, number one. one. Yeah. <laughs> sure he was. Yeah. Oh. So I sent a message to his widow saying, I'm really sorry I'm playing Richard Part again. Yes. And she was terribly sweet about it, actually. Was yeah. she? Yeah, lovely woman. As indeed he was a lovely man. Mm. Yeah, clever. So I worked with Richard as well. Yeah, you did, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Where did you work? Uh, at the Almeida in oh, yeah. London. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. He was a great raconteur. I can imagine. Lovely stories. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. you know, a lot of the gags in the show, are, uh, the actor gags, are based on him. Are they? Are, are based on his eccentricities. Oh, OK. And peccadillos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Love that word. It's a good one, isn't it? And I believe, I'm not absolutely sure about this, but I believe some of the um, Benjamin Britten stuff is based on the actor who played it originally. He was called Alex Jennings. Oh. Um, 
and because they work together quite closely in the yeah. rehearsal, and so mm. if, if, if an actor had a particular idea, I think it was incorporated yeah. into the play. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Yes, because Alan is very flexible, you know. He's not precious about his work. That's nice. Yeah. I can imagine if I wrote something, I'd want to direct it and yes, make sure it was as I envisaged yes. it. But I think I'd be the same. Mm. I think you'll find Shakespeare is pretty flexible. <laughs> yeah, he has to be now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, on that note, I will let you chaps get on because I'm sure you have to. What do you do to prepare for a show? Do you in, now you're sharing a dressing room together? Well, we go in our fish and chips. <laughs> Yeah. Chips, clear That's our perfect. throat, and we're on. <laughs> well, it's really lovely to meet you both. Thank and, you, Kim. Um, have a really great weekend. So and yeah, good luck with yours as well. Thank you. Yeah, yeah you can't come and see it, sadly. No, unfortunately, we can't. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, enjoy your fish and chips. Thank you. Thank you, darling. Cheers. Well, it's our job, isn't it? Right, right fish, fish and chips. chips. Yep. Yeah, baby. Thank you, very much. Yeah. Thank you, love.